She thought she was going home last night, so when her fellow Survivor tribe mates voted her out last night, Sierra wasn't shocked. She joins us now for our Survivor Spotlight. It's good to see you, Sierra. Hi. Hey, hey, you really laid all your cards out there this week, exposing some of the lies told by your other tribe mates. Why did you do that? Um, it's a kind of to feel vindicated. You know what I mean? For a long time, they really just kicked me in the face. And and if I was going to go home, I was going to go home with a big blowout. And I was going to show them that the people that they think are such true and honest and great people with great integrity are really not. I'm the one who's, who was the most trustworthy. And that the sad thing is, now you're going to be stuck back there with a whole bunch of lying, backstabbing people, and you can have each other. Yeah, it almost seems like you were content to go home as long as maybe you take out Coach and Debbie in a, in a future episode. Why not fight, though, to stay a little bit longer in the game? I did fight. I did fight. What needed to happen was, in order for me to stay, um, Coach didn't he won immunity so they were going to vote coach out and keep me and they we already all discussed this and when coach won immunity it was they had to scramble again and they just chose to to stick with with me because it would have been really tough for them to vote out debbie and then watch coach and i i guess fight with each other more which i wouldn't have done well you're on the jury now what's going to go into your decision your decision about who wins this million dollars well um <laughs> My decision would be a person who played with heart and a person that, that played with drive, a person who was a really hard worker in challenges and on camp, camp. and somebody who had great strategy. All right, Sierra, we've got to run. Thanks for talking with us today. Bye. Thank you. Hey, Luther, we're just a couple of weeks away from the finals. We are? Yeah, not too far away. Hey, that's good.